Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file and they're having trouble spacing out the letters or the words. So let's just kind of move these around, get them a little offset. So what I would do, and you can't just use like normal text centering because they're not, well, they are, but they're not, they're not, it's really not a, it is a text, but it's not really typed out because they're individually broken up. So what you can do is select them all and hit C on your keyboard, and that's going to center them together. Now to get, she mentioned, or they mentioned, um, getting them spaced out equally. So let's say we want, and it's hard to always to say, let's say we want that one touching the line, the bottom of the G. So let's go back to the C again, put them in the center. Now to get them all spaced apart equally, and I know nothing about millimeters, but let's nudge that down. Well, let's go back and let's make this uh, five millimeters. And then grab the love and move it down. Grab the brag and move it up. Now, if you want them to space out equally, select everything, go up to Windows, Dockers, and Align and Distribute, and way over here on distribution, just distribute spaces vertically. And this will do the best job. Whoop, that's what she's having trouble with. Let's do this again. There we go. So what was happening, they were, I think she's grabbing the whole box. Let's do that again. Let's grab the whole box and do that. That's what her problem is. You need to grab just the text. Matter of fact, let's move, let's move this one up so we can see it. So stay on the inside of the box where it won't grab the box and then use that. And then that'll put them equally apart. Now, she didn't ask for this or they didn't ask for this, but uh, looking at this word right here, you've got some overlapping of the font. And, you know, if you're going to print it or even engrave it, let's select this, let's select this word and go left click, right click, and you can see it's not welded together. So what we can do, and the weld doesn't come up. First of all, let's take this word and control K and break it apart. So they'll be separated from the other words. Grab this whole word. Your weld doesn't come up because it's still a text. Go to object. Convert it to curves. Go to object, break curve apart. And now you see your weld symbols come up and watch what happens when we do this. Now what happened is we did it in the wrong order. So let's back up here. Let's go and break the curve apart first and then select it all and go to object and convert it to a curve. And this time the inside part should stay and they do. You still got this overlapping part, but that's very easily taken either the shape tool or the, you know, just take the shape tool and delete those nodes. That looks pretty good. Or you can always, if you have X7 or above, use a smoothing tool. That's a little bit big. Let's cut that in half to like six and then click on the mouse and click on your letter and just smooth that out just ever so slightly, you know, make it look a lot better. Same thing on the other S. Other than that, if you just follow along what I just suggested, I think it'll work. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.